Hi everybody, Jeremy Miner, Technical Agronomist for Channel Seeds Cover in Southeast Iowa, coming to you today from the data mine. We are looking up a lot of information right now as technical agronomists. We're trying to understand what happened to our crops during the 2022 growing season. We know that in Iowa, at least, there was a lot of drought stress that went on. There were some people that got plenty of moisture as well, um, but sometimes there's just questions that need to be answered and we've got to dig into it. So I thought I would share with you today on Field Checkup Friday, some of the places that I go to and use for information and maybe how I use those tools in order to help decipher what happened to uh, a specific area, a specific field, um, and try to help decipher some of the things that happened during the crop season of 2022. So let's take a look. Iowa Environmental Mesonet site is a great place to start. I like to go right to the automated data plotting tab because there's literally hundreds of maps with different data sets on here. And I just find the one that relates to the information that I'm looking for, whether it's GDU information, soil temperature information, all that kind of stuff. It's all right here. The useful to usable corn GDD website is very helpful to me. I can take a GDD start date, which would be a planning date, enter in corn maturity, silking and black layer GDUs, and then map it out and graph it out just like this here. I can find mid pollination dates, estimated black layer dates, and estimated frost dates. If I wanna see if there's any weather correlation to any of those dates that we looked at previously, I go to the PRISM website from Oregon State University and I click on the Explorer tab. This is a great little website. I can scroll down at this point and enter in the state and county where I wanna look up weather data, I can select the settings, so I want to look up precipitation, minimum and maximum temperature, and then I can look data up for annual, monthly, or even daily values. And here I set for the entire growing season from April through October. This generates a nice graph, and as I slide the cursor across the screen, every one of the days has a specific data point to tell me the high temperature, low temperature, and precipitation values for that day. I can adjust that slider across the bottom if I want to look at each month individually and see if there's any additional weather information that may crack the code as far as what happened to a particular product or a particular area during the growing if you have season. Any questions, by all means, contact any of your technical agronomists or your channel field sales reps and we'll be able to help you out no matter what. So hope you guys had a safe harvest. Hopefully you're all done and uh, have a great rest of the day. Thanks.